Normally, when you head to a lake, you're planning on doing some boating, right? Well, today on At Your Leisure, we've purposely left the boat behind so we can experience Starvation Reservoir in an entirely different way. I'm Stephen Human. Join Jill and Darren as they find out what your family can discover when you head to the lesser known campsites of this amazing area. Then come with me as I hit the trails and find even more excitement here at Starvation. Lastly, Malia Stringham returns to AYL with a look at the Bears Ears controversy and how it could affect recreation in Utah. Welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Jill Kinder, and we brought our daughter Jaden with us today to Starvation Reservoir. And there is so many fun things to do here. We decided to come out here for a week, and Ray City so generously let us bring one of their RVs, and we brought our four-wheelers, our fishing poles, we brought everything to come up here and play all week long. That's right, Starvation has so much to offer. There's hiking, four-wheeling, boating, fishing, what, what There's else? even an archery park up here. Awesome. Let's go talk to some of the experts and see what else they can offer. It's a really neat lake. There's a lot of coves you can go and hide in. or There's a lot of area. Right now it's mid-July and we're still over 90% full. So a little bit different story than a lot of the reservoirs in Utah. We've got 4,500 surface acres. So quite a bit of water, definitely space for everyone to come and have fun on it. It's really a unique location. It's right next to the Uinas. Um, we've got a lot of OHV access down here. Beautiful, beautiful mountain trails. We've got the reservoir right here. There's a few other lakes around here for fishing as well. And it was created in 1970 by a Bureau of Reclamation. Uh, they built the dam and created the reservoir. And then shortly thereafter, uh, they created it into a state park. And so, uh, we've been managing it ever since then. We offer boating activities, OHV activities, a slack line course down in the day use beach. We've got a nice sandy day use beach uh, with grass and cabanas, picnic tables, grills. We have a 3D archery range. It's down near our entrance booth. People can come up, bring their own equipment. We have a few bows that can be rented. There's 13 stations they can go in and it's 3D archery. It's kind of a growing sport. It's kind of like golf a little bit, but with archery. So. We're more than happy to have everyone come out. Uh, we're really busy on the weekends. During the week, you, you could walk in and find pretty much any spot that you would want. Make some reservations if you're planning on coming out on the weekend because we're really full, um, but we, we would welcome anyone to come out. As you can see, he is so right. This is a great place to come camping. There are nice flat spots all over the place so you can bring your RV, a tent, several tents, whatever you like, and, and bring the family. Yeah, well, we're up here on a weekday and there's absolutely nobody here, so you kind of have the place to yourself as well, which yeah, is the week awesome. Weekdays or weekends might be a little different, but uh, yeah. if you can escape and take a week-long vacation, this is a place to do it. Well, you know, one thing I like about these primitive spots, though, is not as many people come clean over here. You know, they, they'll go right over to the marina or whatever, but out here, there's not as many people, and so it really lets you, you know, kind of get out here and enjoy some more of this place without being, you know, confined by a whole bunch of people. That's true. The, the road is a little bit bumpy getting in here, <laughs> but it wasn't too bad. You take your time. It's a well, well uh, you know, maintained road, but it is a gravel road. So. It, is, it is a little bumpy, but we didn't have any trouble at all, and, and it's well worth it. Well, right now, we need to go find out where Steve is and find out what he's up to. Fun! I'm right here. <laughs> you guys are talking so much about starvation, I figured, hey, why don't we set out from here and go on an adventure? Okay. Let's go. Good. All right, so we're going to set out by ATV. There's a lot of trails out here, a lot of dirt roads. So we're going to head out and see what we can discover. Fun! Let's go. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here in the ocean, I mean Starvation Reservoir, and having a great time. It is a little windy today, but that hasn't stopped our fun. Just a little more breeze and waves. Yep, but so. you know, we're out here playing in the water, we've been ATVing, we've been doing all kinds of fun things. And the kids have been having a great time too. They've been having fun in the water, on the beach, rock climbing, four-wheeling, all kinds of fun Play, stuff. Just playing in the sand. Let's find out what they think about this. Back in the water. <laughs> Let's just 
like being out here and like just enjoying all the like colors around us and just doing that is really like fun. You get to go around and have adventures and find things that you wouldn't find anywhere else. We climbed rocks, we started to swim and and my dad taught me how to swim. My dad's a big like jokester so he'll like throw me in the water and stuff and it's really fun. Aaron's driving was crazy. ATVing was a lot of fun and really awesome because my dad went fast when he was driving and we went on bumpy roads. There's just like lots of little trails that you can go through and like lots of like sand that you can swirl around in and kick it up. I enjoy that when we go on family vacations like this that we get to relax and we can have fun together. I'd probably rather come to a destination like this because there's a lot more things that you can do and there's just so many possibilities. I would say that if you want to have fun but you don't want to spend too much money, just come, come over here and set up a little campground and have a fire and cook s'mores and stuff with, with your family. Well, make sure when you come out here, you know, you bring everything you need, you know, your, your uh, chairs, your sunscreen, all of that kind of stuff, because there isn't much out here. Uh, there are some uh, uh, toilets and whatnot here, but that's about it. You know, we forgot quite a few things like dish soap and, <laughs> and a, fire a fire starter, you know, <laughs> lighter. Uh, you know, we're not much Boy Scouts, so I don't know what we do, but, uh, but we seem to manage through it. We did, and the nice thing is we're not that far from Duchesne, only about four miles down the road. So you can hop into town and go to the convenience store or the grocery store. Both of those are great and you can get almost anything you need. Yep. But right now we need to get to our trailhead adventure brought to you by RockyMountainATVMC.com. Well, next week's show looks like a lot of fun, but we've had a great time out here on our raycation. Raycation? Yeah. Did you make that up? Well, of course, I got I have to make things up, but uh, <laughs> no, we're out here with the Ray City RV and we're having a great time at uh, Utah State Parks. And there are 43 of these throughout the state and they're all have something unique to offer. So you gotta get out and see most of them. It is amazing. Utah has so many state parks and they're all just a great adventure. You really need to get out and, and try some of them. Well, there is a lot of adventure out here in Duchesne County. I mean, we've seen some caves out here. We've seen all kinds of cool little things. You know, I know a lot of people in Salt Lake think it's just sagebrush, but there's a lot of fun things out here to do. It really is beautiful, and we've had a great time on this adventure, but unfortunately, this one's over. Yep, so just remember to get out and create your own adventure at, at your, your leisure. leisure. There's Steve's famous breakfast burritos. Woo! They so good. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I forgot what I was supposed We're to say. We're here at Starving. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.